with quite a game. Yeah. Quite a game. A game of significance for both teams, particularly for the Bengals, who are four and five. They're trying to dig out of the early season hole that they dug for themselves. The Ravens are six and three, had a big win over the Broncos on Sunday. Short week football. Joe Burrow, five touchdown passes, but looking pissed off on the sideline. The Ravens are favored by six with the highest over under of the week at 53. You are up. Bengals, Ravens. Who do you like? Well, I, I, you know, Thursday night football, we know the the Bengals have a really good offense. They do. And the pressure's on their offense to deliver. I think they know that. I think that's why we saw Joe Burrow pissed off at the end of the game last week. He's going, wait, we got to be perfect almost every week, not just for the winning this game, but to continue the momentum going into the next week, whatever there. They're going to have to be perfect in this one. And we saw they can move the ball on the the Baltimore Ravens in that defense. We saw it a few weeks ago. They should have won the football game. They outplayed Baltimore on that day. So had their chance. They're going to go into this feeling comfortable. I do think a big thing is, and Mike, I don't know, Pete, maybe you could talk to me. What's the current status of T. Higgins? That's a big part of this. Doubtful. Doubtful. If he plays, I do believe they have a real chance to win the football game. If he doesn't play, hey, I think they have a real chance to keep it close. But win the football game, I'm not sure I feel good about that. But again, we've talked about the problems with the Baltimore defense, all that. I know they were better last week. I'm not ready to anoint them back or something like that because they beat Bo Nix and the the Denver Broncos, which is a young, not super talented offense. So I'm not ready to write home about that quite yet. I do think the Bengals will move the ball on this Ravens defense. And we've talked about the Bengals are a little weird. They can't get pressure with their front four. And if you have to blitz Joe Burrow and T. Higgins and Jamar Chase are both out there healthy, that's going to be issues. That means you're playing man-to-man or there's going to be big holes in your zones. Uh, so I, Cincinnati is going to move the ball. The problem here for Cincinnati is their defense, as we know, and Baltimore's offense, I feel like, is you know hot, on fire, as good as anybody in football. We know that. I just don't think that they're going to be able to keep pace ultimately tonight. I think it's going to be a fun game. It's going to go back and forth. This will not be my best bet, but I'm going to take the Ravens 27-24 with that little caveat of saying if T. Higgins plays – I do think they can pull off the upset, and I probably would add a little more, some more points to the total uh, altogether by both sides. At doubtful, I don't think T. Higgins plays. Doesn't especially sound like since it. He's in his franchise tag year. Right. Unless you're 100, percent don't go on the field. You have no security beyond this season. That's what a team gets when it uses the franchise tag. It gets a player who has no reason to play at under 100 percent because he's got no security on the backside of this season. Interesting wrinkle with the Ravens. Shereen Williams and I were talking about this earlier today on PFT Live. Yeah. The knee injury to Lamar Jackson. Right. Two practices last week with a knee and a back. He missed Tuesday this week with the knee. He had four rushing yards on Sunday. It makes me wonder, are they keeping him from running because of the knee, and will the Bengals game plan accordingly Knowing that, you usually have to worry about Lamar running, Derrick Henry running, Lamar passing. If Derrick Henry and Lamar passing are the only two things you have to worry about and not Lamar running and you plan for it, does it give you a chance to maybe – it's almost like a tennis match. You need to hold serve at some point, a break serve. Is that what it is? Break serve. serve. Hold serve, break serve. You need to break serve at some point. Maybe it's easier to break serve if you know – we're not worried about Lamar Jackson running because of that knee. Well, I, I don't disagree with you with the called quarterback design runs. Now, watching Denver and him play last week, he certainly seemed like he was moving pretty damn good when he had to scramble and do stuff like that. And the game never got to the point last week where they had to go, hey, let's let's unlock the Lamar run game type of stuff in our offense here. They kind of, after that first quarter, slowly started to get control of the game. I don't know. It's something I'll be looking for, though, Mike. I think it's a good point by you. We'll see where that goes. Uh, but I think we'll know within that first drive or so just how he moves around in the pocket, whether he's capable of doing that. And, you know, I think the status of the game will determine whether they call design runs for him or not. And by the way, since this isn't a just talk about the games podcast, but a picks podcast, I need to make my pick. Yeah. Ravens. Let's go. 34-27. And remember, I do these scores. I sit down either on Thursday morning or Wednesday night. I pull up the games. And the first thing that comes to my head is what the score is. And I don't look at the spreads until afterwards. So I didn't know I was picking the Ravens. No, to cover. I hear you. I, didn't I, know I do what the, the spread I'm the, was. I'm the same way you are, Mike. I'm, I, I don't do it any different way either. Now I might have a few games. I do the my games, and then I might look at the spreads, and then I might look at a few spreads and go, wait, 
am I missing something here? Why is it like this? Why is it like that? And every now and then I'll tinker with a score, but I, I, I don't do that very often. Well, I'm done asking why is it like that after the Jets were favored by two last week, and I spent the whole week saying why is it like that, and they won by eight. Yeah, well, okay. that would be one of those, though. That was, uh, I thought, last week that I would say I took the Jets. I'm not sitting here trying to pat myself on the back, but that was one of those lines where, wait, wait, am I missing something here? Hold on. Let me think about the matchup a little bit differently there. And, yeah, I, I do think the line at times can can bring you to a maybe a different logical response uh, than, than maybe what our initial thoughts can be. Yo, yo, homies, thanks for watching. Yeah, it's time. The NFL season is here on Chris Sims Unbuttoned. You can hit subscribe to get all the weekly picks, plus our Sunday recaps as the games are happening. Oh, you know it. Nobody does that better than us. Thanks again for watching. Remember to subscribe. Peace out. We'll see you next time on Unbuttoned.